Skadoosh, skadoosh. Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. My name is Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. Today we are opening up this weird box that we got off eBay for 50 bucks, but you know what? It gets a little more strange. This is one of those mysterious random treasure boxes you can get. It's a mystery box. I paid 50 bucks for it. The weird thing, uh, and the reason I'm not pulling it up is because it displays a lot of uh, private information. I couldn't just open one window. It just all shows everything. But when I went to check my purchase history, it shows this message to me. We have to remove this listing from the site and you're not required to complete the transaction. If you've already sent payment, the sale should process as normal and you don't have to worry about it. If you have any questions, etc., etc., please contact us, Resolution Center, all that good stuff. So what the heck happened? I really don't know. Um, possibly they're just scamming and they're just sending a bunch of junk to people. I don't know. But it's a mysterious box and I am really excited to find out what's inside of it. Moving on from that though. If anyone wants to go ahead and do the research, uh, look this up. The seller's name is WYN-Essentials. So that's E-S-S-E-M-T-I-A-L-S. They have 545 positive feedback as I recorded this. So I didn't think there was too much of an issue with it. Um, on top of that, the title is called Mysterious Random Treasure Box Dash Collectibles Miscellaneous Items YouTube New. So I said, what the heck, man, let's take a crack at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about taking a risk every now and then and uh, having a little fun. So let's see what's inside of here. Uh, hopefully it's nothing, uh, like, bad. As in, like, um, I can't show it on camera, because that would really stink. But it's probably just some random household crap. I don't know. I really have no freaking clue. Alrighty then. I'm going to move this up, and we're just going to go over this. What the heck did we get inside of here? Okay. Oh, my God. This is perfect. You know what? I've always wanted one of these. This rising tide. This is unbelievable. It's a contemporary handcrafted accessories. So, basically, uh, I can wear this for the remainder of the video. Um, I think my face just got bright red. That just happened. Um, yeah, we, uh, we, I don't think we hit a home run at all here, man. But what is this? Look at this. There was supposed to be something gaming going on in it too, but I guess not. So I got like a babushka or something. I mean, I'm sure I can wear this on my hair, on my hat. Uh, do I look flattering? Am I, uh, this is not going well. Uh, you know, this is the beauty of being a YouTuber. You never know what the hell is going to happen in a video. And this happens to be one of those, uh, videos. Also, I got some awesome, uh, what is this? We got a little, can you see this? I got a little bracelet and it's got like this eyeball and a hand on it. That's kind of sketchy. I don't know what to make of that. You see the little sketchy eyeball? You see that eyeball? Eyeballs. Oh my gosh. What the heck is going on with this? So I got some jewelry. This is perfect. Actually, it did say jewelry in the description now that I think about it. Uh, the description won't even pop up. It won't even show me that anymore. It's all gone. Well, this is a real freaking eye opener. All right, what else we got in here? Uh, by the way, I'm going to tell some stories at the end of this one to make it uh, a little more interesting. I wasn't sure what was going to happen with it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, so I have some things set aside I want to share with you guys. Some personal stories you'll get a kick out of. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think it's like some kind of prayer. It says the evil eye concept dates back thousands of years, being widely spread through the Mediterranean region in the Middle East. You guys ever hear about this? It is believed that one can be harmed by the evil eye stare of an envious person or by lengthy praise. What the heck? This can occur either consciously or unconsciously. The desire-oriented waves generated in a person about another individual are transmitted to that individual and an evil eye is cast on them. Is this serious right now? In Europe, it is believed that envious or malicious looks can bring about bad luck. Triggers of affliction, um, of affication, okay, wait, wait, triggers of, uh, it, it, it's repeating itself, triggers of affiction or, or, or affliction by the evil eye through desires, uh, desirous thoughts, through envious thoughts, through black magic, through negative energies. That is different. Okay. So wait, am I wearing it? Is this the evil eye then? What the heck is going on? I don't know. I'm going to keep it on though for the heck's sake of it. 
What do you make of that? Uh, that's weird. Okay. Then we got uh, Formula One Grand Prix hat. Actually, I know there's one of my fans uh, that watches this, and he is all about the Formula One racing. Uh, they like to drive fast, from my understanding. And we got a 2015 Formula One United States Grand Prix F1 licensed product, so you know it's real. Holy crap, the retail price on this thing when they sold it was 35 bucks. This camera blows, so you can't really see it, but oh my gosh. 35 bucks. October 23rd to 25th, 2015, the Grand Prix. So we got a Grand Prix hat. Should I wear it? Cool. I'm feeling, look at that. I got a whole new wardrobe today, guys. This is nuts. Um, we have top and top and top pastel collection. What the heck? So we got the jankiest of janky earrings that you can possibly fathom. They're not even, these aren't even qualified as cubic zirconian. They don't even look like they're cubic zirconian. Um, you know what? We can put these on. This is, this is good. We are just going to dress ourselves as we go in this. This probably is one of the more interesting videos I must say I've ever done before. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, by all means hit the like button. But this is something different. Let's put in our let's put in our earrings here. I'm gonna we're gonna put in some earrings. I know this is what you guys all tuned in for. Oh, I kind of want to take these out though. Hmm. Okay, I forgot I already had my my studs in. Okay, we're gonna put that aside. Okay, so we got some earrings. 360 Cobb LED Spotlight. This actually looks kind of cool. You seeing this? 360 LED Spotlight. Really? How does this guy work? 360 LED Spotlight. Whoa! Check that out, man. Hey, that's kind of cool. Look at that beam. We are beaming right now. Not only one, but I got... Actually, I'm not disappointed with this right now. This is kind of interesting. Not only one, but I got two of these now. Holy freaking smoke-tastic, man. This is really cool, actually. I like getting random stuff. Look at that. So we got two power beams of light now. I am just freaking majestic. Look at me and all my powers. You guys, I can't. you can't make this stuff up. Uh, this is uh, this is very interesting. I guess you could make it up. Um, I have power, and that's all. That's all. wow. Look at this. Should I record all my videos this way? I think we're go. I think we're getting somewhere. This is bad apples. Um, okay, what else do we got up in here? We got a football. Is it even a squishy toy? Is it a squeaky toy? This is good for throwing at stuff. It was made in Dongguan, China. Anyone from Dongguan, China out there, I appreciate it. This is interesting, a little different. So, I mean, I am sportsy. I mean, we can do some sports together if you guys want to. I got a ball with a face on it, and it's smiling. Now, that's pretty cool. Not, no, that's garbage. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, what is this? Oh, no way. A pair of shades. I actually was looking for a new pair of sunglasses, so this kind of works out. 20 bucks though. Fortitude. Made in China. All the good stuff comes from China, doesn't it? Ain't that something? I'll just sneak these off. Slip these off. Let's see, how, let's see how awesome I look with these on. All right. Well, we just keep getting cooler as we go, huh? Uh, we got a t-shirt. This actually wasn't too bad. Oh, it's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Check that out. And we got a random t-shirt. That actually is pretty cool. Like, the first thing that threw me off was this. Like, what the heck? What do you do with this? What do you even do with this? I, I don't even know. I don't know what you do with that. But this thing's pretty cool. I'm going to actually wear that out. That's not bad, man. Woo! What up, player? What up, player? You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm going to put this on right now. We're just having a real hoot. There's still, like, a couple things here. Did I get two pairs of sunglasses in here? I think I did. This is so funny. All right. <laughs> we have fun, huh? Oh, my goodness. We have so much fun here in Bad Boy Gaming. Okay. So now I got this. I got my Formula One. I think I just upgraded my look today. Um, we got another pair of glasses. It looks like they're like those bifocal glasses or something. Uh, I do not have any use for these whatsoever. 
What is going on? That's a funny video. Okay. Oh, man. I cannot see. I'm blind. I could see. I could see. I'm going blind. Okay, perfect. Go back to my cool guy shades. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it all boss and play a play. Horrific. Um, next up, we got some Hatchimals. Two pack and nest. Pack, pack die. We got the pack die to nest, guys. Um, what happens with this? What do you do with it? Hatchimals collectibles. Hold. Hatch. Play. You guys want to see me hatch? I, what? You want to see me hatch one of these things? This just got weird. I think this is the last item in here, and then I'm going to go over some other stuff. A Hatchimal. I don't know what a Hatchimal is, but you got a Hatchimal. It's really hard to open. Oh! He dropped his balls! They're eggs, stupid. Get it right. All right, we got some eggs here. Eggs erroneous. Well, this whole video turned out to be a hoot. So you got to hold it, and then it hatches? No, it doesn't. Can I just open it? How do you, how, does it open on its own? Two pack, nest and pack. Crystal, nest included. I don't understand. So somehow this thing hatches. I'm going to put it on top of these beams of light. Maybe something will happen with it, with it being on the beams of light. Maybe it needs like a power source. Maybe. Maybe it just needs some power. That is love. Look at this. This is, this is a real treat. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do another one of these kind of videos. This is interesting. All right, so next up. <laughs> um, I came across the uh, this game called Stuff Happens, right? You guys seen it in the last video I opened up? And I wanted to share some stories with you. I came across some cards that applied. Um, has this ever happened to you? If so, I want to hear your comments below. Um, I, I got to hear some good stories. These three apply to me personally. Uh, some recently, some a long time ago. I got three of them. Attacked by Swarm of Bees. Little did you know, Joey Moss has like this fear of bees. This is not this is not a joke. I do have a fear of bees, and it stemmed from when I was younger. I was riding my bike. Uh, I must have been like seven or eight years old, and I, I was riding my uh, my mudslinger bike down the uh, down the sidewalk, and uh, a bee just freaking stung me. I fell off my bike. I started screaming like a little baby. Uh, ever since that day, I was terrified of bees. Uh, it wasn't a swarm. It was just one. Uh, I'm, luckily, I'm not allergic to them. If any of you are allergic to them, I'd like to know. But I'm sorry. I, I, I can imagine that would stink. But, man, it was not fun. It was not fun. And that day lives with me every single day. For the rest of my life, I will never forget that. And it's not funny. It's not, Even all the head injuries I've had doesn't help. Um, here's a good one. Forgot your wallet on a first date. This happened recently. I went out with this girl. We'll call her Bertha for, for, for fun's sake. I went out with Bertha, and the night was going great. I mean, really good. I was easily uh, going to seal the deal, if you know what I mean. And uh, we ended up leaving the spot we were at. She's like, let's get a hotel. I'm like, what a great idea. Let's get a hotel. Like, no problem. So we end up driving um, to this one location, but little did I even think about this at the time. We drive to the one uh, hotel, and we go in, and I'm like, yeah, let's get a hotel room. He's like, we're all booked. I'm like, what do you mean you're booked? Cavs Finals was going on. The Cavs Finals. So every hotel, I live in Cleveland, by the way, so every hotel in like a freaking 15-mile radius was booked that night. Fine. I got a plan B. I got a few tricks up my sleeve. I'm like, let's go like 10, 15 miles out. You know, um, let's, we went out to this other uh, city, this uh, city Brunswick. And we get to Brunswick. Whip out my card. They had a vacancy. Guess what? I left my card and my ID at the hotel we went to first that denied us. Bro. 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 Epic fail. It was seriously the most epic fail ever. Um, mind you, like we already wasted 45 minutes now, hour trying to get there, you know, but the moment, the moment was so hot. She was all about me. I was about her. We were about to get freaking dinky. I didn't know where I left my card and ID at the time. I completely forgot. You know, we were having a lot of fun that night, guys. So I, I just ended up dropping her off and the whole night just went to crap, um, because I couldn't find my, uh, my ID and my, uh, credit card. 
if you had a story like that, man, tell me about a busted failed date. I'd love to hear about it. That was mine, and that was recent. <laughs> Loser. Um, your worst clown nightmare comes true. A lot of people. Do you guys have, like, do you like clowns? Do you hate clowns? There's, like, this whole thing about clowns, like, people fear them and whatnot. I don't have that. I grew up watching horror movies. I remember I would sneak off to the library. Um, sneak off to the library. Joey Moss, you little demon. Yeah, I know. I was a bad kid. I snuck off to the library, but uh, the, the women there, uh, the librarians, they would rent to me. Or uh, let me uh, take out, whatever that what you call it? You call them take out? You don't really rent it. You take it out, you borrow it from the library. They would let me uh, uh, borrow the, the bad movies, like the scary movies, man. Like Hellraiser 1 and 2. I remember watching it like around the time I got stung by bees. And maybe I was 9 or 10 at this time. Um, and I watched it. You know, and there's movies like that. Probably movies I shouldn't have watched as a little kid. But um, not a clown that scares me. But the one thing that stands out that did scare the crap out of me. Uh, that was... Um, you guys seen the cartoon Ghostbusters from back in the day? Well, I have. And I saw one really scary episode. You can actually look this up on YouTube also. Um, Boogeyman. Boogeyman. Seriously, scary stuff. Scary, scary stuff. The Boogeyman episode. Watch the whole episode. That thing, when I, I mean, I must have watched it when I was a little kid. I, I think I was maybe six or seven when I watched the Boogeyman stuff. But all throughout my childhood, like the next four or five years, I kept like seeing the boogeyman in my closet. He would hide in your closet and he would like take kids into this like crazy, like mysterious. Like, you got to watch it. If you haven't seen Ghostbusters Boogeyman, look it up. Uh, it's like a 15 minute episode or something. It's pretty short. But oh my God, is it worth watching? But this thing would haunt my freaking closet. Like I would wake up like having night terrors or nightmares and I'd be a freaking mess. It was seriously some of the scariest stuff in my life. I still fear the boogeyman. When you see him, you'll understand. He can almost be on a magic card. Seriously, some scary stuff. All right, guys. Um, that about wraps it up. I, I don't know what to make of today's opening. We got some lights. Um, we, we got some eggs. Uh, I think we're a little cooler now. Uh, now that we're all geared up, we got a t-shirt, we got this hat, we got this wrist thing. I mean, a babushka. I, I don't even know. Someone tell me what this is. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this, I actually had fun opening this one. Um, and make sure you share some stories. If you guys are afraid of clowns, I want to know about that. But as always, PLA, baby. PLA. Hey. Hey.